There you go. Bit further. It's like going into places where your ears shouldn't be. It's like out back here now, isn't it? Infected Mushroom came along and gave me Wider. And this is a game changer. So this is a stereo width plugin, a stereo widener, and it just works. And again, one knob plugin, one dial, one slider, you really can't go wrong when you've only got one slider because it's just simple. It's easy to use. It's a game changer when it comes to getting a nice stereo spread within your sound. So let's stop talking and actually show what it does. Now, I've got multiple guitars in this track, but let's just say that was my one guitar track. That's all I've recorded here, and that's it. Well, guess what? I can actually get some cool stereo width. I can create my own wall of guitars, and it doesn't have to just be guitars. In fact, we'll, use, we'll show this on a piano as well So uh, after this, so you can see that if you're not a guitar person, it doesn't matter. It's not just just for guitars but if we come in here we're going to go to edit we're going to tap this on and we're going to go wider now i know many people said when i did the poll many people said wider has changed their lives as well because it's just a quick and simple way to get some stereo width so here you go it is this and look it is one thing we just say how much stereo width anywhere from zero to a hundred or you can actually go into this weird extra spectrum up to 200. So let's just uh, dial this up and I'll show you, or you can hear what it sounds like when we add wider into this sound. Right? It just, it literally just, it, it does, what it's showing on the screen is exactly what it's doing in reality. Let's keep going. How cool is that? Now you might be thinking, Pete, can't you just grab it and put it, you know, on two tracks and pan it hard left and hard right? You can't. That doesn't actually create stereo width. That just gives you two copies. That just doubles the amplitude of the sound. It makes it twice as loud. You need a plugin like this, like Wider, to actually do that because it's not just adding it to both sides. It's adding in some uh, some very small, insignificant amounts of delay to make it actually have that stereo width. Let's go past the 100 now. I know we're turning it up. It's like turning the flux capacitor and needing the 1.21 gigawatts. Let's do it. <laughs> So once you go past 100, you kind of get that phasey kind of effect. It kind of does some weird stuff in there. So I tend to use it a bit more subtly. So if I have a guitar sound like this, I'll throw it on. And probably sit it about there. So probably sit it around the 24%. But yeah, if you really want to go with a different kind of effect sound, you can... Uh, right? Bring it into our mix. Now, we've done a whole bunch of things to a whole bunch of tracks, so the overall mix is going to sound pretty terrible. But, uh, yeah, you can hear there that it just it widens it out. And, again, it's such a simple thing, but it works so well. Let's throw it on a piano, shall we? Or maybe maybe the electric piano, because uh, this these work really well when you've got some width on them. So let's just see if this section here... Yeah, here. So we'll put it on these, these chords that it's playing here. First of all, we'll uh, put this in the middle uh, so that it's centred. There you go. Uh, so we'll come in here and again, we'll add the wider plugin. Boom, boom. I really hope I made a backup copy and this isn't my original track. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Let's come down here to wider. Wider and wider. All right, so we'll jump into wider and now we'll play this. We'll play this E piano and then again, we'll stretch out the width. Right? There you go bit further it's like going into places where your ears shouldn't be it's like out back here now isn't it how cool is it let's go all the way it's in a different it's in a different dimension it's like somehow behind me bring it back to the real world and then bring it in back to its boring origins right 
Very cool. Again, I can't, <laughs> you can tell how excited I am about this plugin and how much it's changed things. Because again, the challenge with getting a good stereo width is if you've got only, say you've got a six or seven or eight track song, as soon as you start panning things left and right, you lose that balance. Sometimes you just, you don't necessarily want them to be on the left or the right. You just want them to be wider. And that's exactly what this plugin does. It's exactly what it's called, and it's exactly what it does. You want wider, you get wider. Let's uh, come and take a listen on a vocal. So we'll grab, oh, that's not my vocal, that's my guitar. Here we go, here's our lead vocal down here, and we'll uh, turn this on. We'll have to take off the Rough Rider. Oop. By the way, your plug-in order is important. So something like wider, you'd probably put towards the end. Like compressors, you'd probably put towards the front. Something like wider, you'd probably put towards the end after your reverbs and your delays and things. So keep that in mind that you can adjust your, your plug-in order. Even GarageBand, and Cubase, whatever you're using, just to like edit here. And we can drive this down and pop it wherever we want. So we'll put it at the very bottom here for this one. So here's wider. We will uh, play the vocal. Life is long and, and you have it. much time. You're in a rush and you don't know why Spread it more You want it all and you want it now But you doubt your talent and you don't know how Look around at what other And again, this can work really well You combine this with stereo lag time And you can get some really cool effects Just go subtle, like don't brought it all the way out here For your lead vocals, but just put it subtle But you know what? I've used this for backing vocals like all the way out here with like a single backing vocal track and it sounds really cool and really full. You just have to be careful. Sometimes you get those phasey, those weird phasey kind of effects. But yeah, very cool, very good plugin for your vocals as well. 